The famous philosopher Aristotle said, we are but a mass of habits. So I'm sure you have some habits that you might want to get rid of, some bad habits. You might want to develop good habits, which we know are really the key to a healthy, happy life. Stick with me as we discuss the power of habits. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shami Kang. Thanks for joining. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and thank you for taking the time to invest in the power of your mind. The way I like to explain habits is this wonderful term, neuroplasticity. Yes, it's this complicated term, but really all it means is that our brain can constantly wire and rewire. It is plastic or neuroplastic. We have this amazing ability to make change, to learn, to shed the old, bring in the new, but it does take time. Okay, clearly I went to medical school, not art school, so I'm not the best drawer. However, the trails in a forest, which I attempted to draw, function the exact same way as the trails in our brain, meaning that if you want a neural pathway to develop, you have to walk on the trail, just like we have to walk on the trails of our neural pathways. So just like the trails in a forest don't just show up, they have to be walked on. The same is true for the new trails, neural pathways or habits in our brain. We have to walk on them consistently to develop a new habit and we have to get off the trail of old habits that we no longer want so we don't keep reinforcing them or making them bigger. Many of us have habits that we have laid down unconsciously, big trails in our brain that we really didn't want there. Things like eating mindlessly in front of the TV or you know, talking on the cell phone while we're driving or walking, things we really aren't good for us. So we have to really make a conscious effort once those trails are there because they become automatic. Our brain just goes on those pathways. Just like when you go on a forest and you go on those bigger trails that are already developed, it's a lot easier than trying to cut new bush and get onto new trail. The good news is that we can all change our habits. This isn't something reserved for certain people with grit or discipline. It is in all of us. The other hand though, is it takes time and practice. So you do have to put that effort in. So here's your prescription for habits. There are three of them. So number one, keep them simple. One habit at a time works best. Make it small, little baby steps. So one to two minutes of meditation or walking and builds from there. And number three, add positive emotions. So when you add the positive emotions of relaxation, no stress, rewarding yourself, taking the moment to be proud of your efforts and really uh, firing and wiring that positivity, it'll be much easier to get off those old trails and onto new trails that will better serve your health, happiness and achievement.